Hey, shalom everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 through 28, and I'm going to be reading from God's Word translation. Is your faith something worth dying for? You know, a lot of times we look at passages in the scripture and we try to give them a spiritual meaning or spiritualize them away, and we take away from the emphasis of the contextual literal meaning that it was given in. And this is just one of those cases. It says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, Those who want to come with me must say no to the things that they want. Pick up their crosses and follow me. What happens when somebody picks up a cross? A cross was a form of execution. You know, you had to pick up your own implement of, of death and walk out to where they were going to crucify you. It would be like a death row march to the electric chair or a death row march to the table where they strap you down and give you a lethal injection. So basically, Yeshua was saying, you know, if you follow me and, and you accept me, you are writing out your own death sentence. You know, am I worth following? Would you follow me to the death? Jesus said to his disciples, Those who want to come with me must say no to the things they want, pick up their crosses, and follow me. Those who want to save their lives will lose them, but those who will lose their lives for me will find them. What good will it do for people to win the whole world and lose their lives? Or what will a person give in exchange for life? Uh, the Son of Man will come with his angels and his Father in glory, that he may pay back each person based on what the person has done. I guarantee you this truth. Some people who are standing here will not die until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. So basically Yeshua was saying, look, following me is is basically signing your death warrant. Is Do the things that I bring, the life that I bring, the teachings that I bring, who, who I am and what I represent, is that worth dying for? And, you know, I've heard the saying, he died for me, Jesus, Yeshua died for me, then I should live for him and I should be willing to die for him. Did you know that all of the uh, apostles died a martyr's death except for John the Baptist? And they tried to martyr him by throwing him in a vat of boiling oil, and he wouldn't die. So they exiled him to the Isle of Patmos. But other than that, all of the disciples died a martyr's death. Um, Basically, virtually everywhere in the world except for the Western world in Europe and United States and Canada – most every believer in the, around the world except Yeshua and, and get saved and follow the way of, of Messiah Yeshua, knowing that they've either broken the laws of their land, they're going against the majority of the religion of their land, and that they, they are, they're going to be on the run for their life because they're going to be rejected by family, they're going to be rejected by society. So the truth that they found in Yeshua, to them it is worth dying for, it is, it is worth risking their life for. There's something there that uh, other religions or philosophies of life cannot fulfill. You have, you know, North Korea and China where it's illegal to be a Christian because they're atheistic countries. Uh, you have Saudi Arabia and Iran and Iraq and the in and Indonesia and um, uh, you know Yemen and and parts of Africa which are Islamic uh, radicalized Islamic countries that uh, it's illegal to be a Christian. You can be killed for believing in in Christ. So, you know, we we in the Western world have it easy. And we often read this and we spiritualize it away that, oh, you know, taking up our cross and following him is dying to self. Well, yeah, that is the spiritual interpretation to it. But what was Yeshua literally saying? He was saying, take up your cross and follow me. You know, he was saying, you know, if you follow me, you're going to die following me. And like I said, all the disciples died a martyr's death but John. And Yeshua was the first martyr among the believers because, you know, he died for us and he died for our sins. And he said in other parts of the Gospels, the Besorah, he said, you know, if, if they treat me like this, how do you think they're going to treat you? If, they, if they're going to kill me, they're surely going to kill you because a student is above his master. You know, a, a student doesn't get better than his master. He gets exactly what his master gets. So just remember that and remember that, uh, you know, uh, we live in a, a land for now. We live in a land of, of freedom of religion. And, and basically, sometimes we get made fun of or harassed a little bit or discriminated against because we're believers. But one day we could be risking our lives to be a believer. Are you willing to live for him? Are you willing to die for him? You know, no greater love have man than this, that he lay down his life for, for his friends. Are you going to be like that soldier who throws himself on a grenade to save his buddies, to save his platoon? Um, you know, that's what it means to follow Messiah.
uh, I highly recommend that you uh, go to Voice of the Martyrs, uh, go to their website, order their monthly magazine, stay informed. Uh, they have an app, a prayer app and a devotional app that's really great. You can get on your phone or tablet, so I highly recommend that. But anyways, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and Shavua Tov. Abrahamsdescendants.com, getting back to the first century in a 21st century way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the like button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the notification bell that'll let you know every time I make a new video. And don't forget to share this with a friend. Also, visit our website at abrahamsdescendants.com. Thanks. Shalom. Thanks for watching. Stay connected by subscribing to our other social media accounts and visiting our website at abrahamsdescendants.com.